Hey guys, welcome back to Gym Master. And in this video, let's check out how to do two bass strokes in one motion. So a couple of times I've been asked, uh, how is it that I do these bass strokes in a row, but it seems that I'm doing one motion, but two strokes happen. So first I'll show you the simple way and the more difficult way of it, and then I'll explain. So as you can see, my right hand keeps on playing the bass stroke, um, either if it's only playing the bass stroke or I add in my left hand doing some slaps and other strokes. Uh, the right hand keeps on doing pretty much the same thing all the time. So let's split this exercise into two. Um, so it's correct that the right hand is doing two strokes, but kind of one motion happens if you take it from the elbow to the wrist. Now, uh, so let's split it into two, meaning first I'll do the loud bass, which is also from top to bottom, from high position to the lower position. Um, and then we'll stop there, and we're just gonna continue doing only the first stroke. After that, we'll check out the second stroke. So first, the bass stroke, which is loud, coming from this high position towards the drum. Now let's check out the second stroke. This is the one which is quieter. It starts from the bottom and goes up. So let's only focus on the second stroke. Once you've done a stroke, position your hand back on the drum so that your wrist is touching the drum head and bounce from there. To keep the volume of the stroke going up kind of similar to the one that uh, we did previously, the loud one, make sure to hit or bounce the stroke uh, with a flat hand. So much of the surface of your hand should uh, directly hit the drum head uh, at the same time. So make sure it's not only the fingertips that touch it or kind of the palm, but as much skin contact as possible. Now let's put those two strokes together. First, slowly. Let's continue with doing the same exercise only faster. Just make sure the tempo is exact. So do not divide them into groups of two, but keep the tempo steady. So that's two bass strokes in one motion. Um, you can add in what I call the muted slap, which I'm gonna show you next, and then also some other strokes as well, some open slaps. 
But even if you're playing only using one hand, uh, for me, it's usually the right hand which does the bass. It, this is also an awesome beat. Uh, sometimes not much else is needed to accompany a friend who's playing another instrument, for example. So I'm going to do the same thing, but now add in some what I call muted slaps and also some other slap strokes. So that's how you do it, two bass strokes in one motion. There are obviously ways to do uh, slap strokes with one motion as well, playing two slaps, um, which I'll leave uh, to another video. So if you have questions, write them in the comments. And if you want to take your skills to the next level, make sure to check out those courses on gemmamaster.com. Uh, two slap strokes, one motion, uh, but for now... Mm. So that's how you do two bass strokes uh, with one motion. In one motion. In one motion.